In this video we're going to see the voltage ramping module. Under ramping you have the voltage ramping option, so we click on this. The voltage modules are selected and we have four options to do the ramping. So the first option is called the continuous ramp, the second is called the step ramp, the third is called the pulse ramp and the fourth is the pulse binary ramp. We're going to connect this kit to an ABB Make REL670 relay where over voltage is configured for 120% and we're going to run all four modules to check what is the exact pickup. The time delay is configured as instantaneous, that is 0 seconds and it should approximately operate at 120% near around 76. So let's find out by running the test. Let's see the settings before we do that. So settings, IED settings, voltage protection over voltage. You can see 120% and instantaneous zero time delay. So the last LED is configured here. And we can also see the measurements when we're going to do the test. So let's click on the first continuous ramp module. Click on this play button. We're going to increase from 75 volts to 80 volts in steps of one volt. So the relay has operated and the pickup value is 76.15 volts based on the feedback. This is the pickup value. If you need more accurate values, you can increase the increment voltage tab to maybe 0.1 or 0.01 volts. Let's do that test again with the second module, the step ramp. So in the step ramp, we have additional window for delay seconds. The delay seconds means it increases from 75 to 76 volts, waits for one second, 76 to 77 volts, waits for one second and it goes on till the end. So let's ramp it. Okay, since our settings are not minute, we're getting it exactly at 76 volts. Let's set the increments to 0.1 volt and reset the relay. So 75.8 volts is the exact pickup. Now let's do a pulse ramp method. In pulse ramp method, we have additional dewell seconds. So that's like you inject and then increase for this duration, go back and inject your original start value for dewell seconds. This process keeps on repeating until you reach your stop value in increments of 0.1 volts. I'm going to run this test again. We can also check the measurements in parallel. So we can see it comes back, waits for dewell seconds, then increases and waits for the wait time pulse second and then comes back. So this dewell seconds will not be shown here. In the software you can see the dewell seconds period that can be verified in the relay measurements. The relay has operated at 76.1 volts. Now finally the pulse binary ramp. Now here the difference is really in the way it's tested. It's going to inject at 75 and directly go and inject at 80 volts just to ensure that it's going to operate within this limit. So if it's not operating at 80 volts there is no point in continuing the test. It's like a shortcut to identify whether your values are right. So in pulse binary ramp there are no additional settings. Let's reset the relay and repeat the test. Click on the play button and it's ensured that it's tripping. Let's just reset it and it's continuing the test. 76.09 volts. So you can see in all the modules the relay has operated and if you want to get accurate results on the same values on all the modules we just need to increase the resolution. So that's how the ramping module for the voltage works.